when it comes to fusion rifles, I like to think of it as a mixed drink. A little bit too much mixture and you can't taste the alcohol. Too much alcohol and well, you won't be able to enjoy the drink. Unlike shotguns and snipers, which only need a few certain requirements, quick draw, range, whatever it may be, fusion rifles to me need to have the perfect combination before I even consider using them. What's going on guys? I'm Brave X Hero and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're going to be talking about the Trials of Osiris fusion rifle, the Exile's Curse. Now you're probably wondering why I'm calling this the Orental replacement. Well, the Orental is now on the chopping block. It is due to be sunset. So a few weeks ago, I was lucky enough to get a good roll on the Exile's Curse. Little did I know that that was going to be the God roll for me. For those of you who do not know what the Exile's Curse is, it is a high impact fusion rifle which can be obtained from the Trials of Osiris. So when this weapon dropped for me, I immediately put it in the vault. Because like everyone else, it's common sense. If you get a fusion rifle and it's not the rental, you're wasting your time. But with sun setting coming up in a few months, there is going to be a point where the rental will be left behind. And you're going to want a fusion rifle that can do work. It can be your new workhorse. After revisiting this fusion rifle, something stood out to me. The perks. The perks. I have a perk set that complements this weapon so well. So looking into the perks that this weapon can obtain, this weapon can roll with, nothing really stood out to me. But like most things in Destiny, you kind of need to read between the lines. And things tend to make sense once you do that. People tend to overlook weapon intrinsic perk, which play a huge role on how the weapon will feel. Exile's Curse is a high impact frame. So some of you are probably wondering, well, Brave, what do you mean high impact frame? Let's head over to the intrinsic perk section and let's read it and break it down. Slow firing and high damage. This weapon is more accurate when stationary and aiming down sights. So what can we take from that? This weapon is slow firing, is more accurate when stationary and aiming down sights. So let's take that first part right there. Slow firing and aiming down sights. I wanted a perk that will allow me to pre-charge and aim quickly at the same time. The only one that came to mind was Snapshot, which this weapon comes with that perk. I had the ability to get this perk and I got it. Snapshot is going to allow me to ADS extremely quickly and allow me to get downrange on my sights much quicker. The faster I can ADS, the more accuracy on my bolt spread I'm gonna have. So how am I going to pre-charge? That's simple. I'm going to wanna slide into my engagements at the same time, I'm going to pre-charge this fusion rifle in order to negate the long charge time because again, guys, it is slow firing. So by doing so, by coming out of a slide, my fusion rifle will have already gone off. Keep in mind that at the same time I am pre-charging, I am also aiming down sights. But that's not it. We're gonna go even further into these perks. So what is another perk that it's gonna allow me to take advantage of us sliding and pre-charging? Well, that's none other than Firmly Planted. And for my Destiny veterans out there, Firmly Planted will activate while you're in your slide. Firmly Planted reads increased accuracy, stability, and handling when firing while crouched. So let me just demonstrate a few times. This is me standing. As you can tell, the spread, the projectile spread of the fusion rifle, it's not as tight. But when I crouch, you can tell that the spread begins to just close up just a little bit which is going to allow you the more bolts you land on an enemy the more damage you can deal the easier it is to kill them especially from further distances so overall those perks right there alone made this weapon shine i'm a huge fan of consistency and this weapon brings a lot of consistency to the table i was so close to hitting the dismantle button but like a well-made mixed drink this fusion rifle had all the right ingredients all the right spots everything which for my playstyle and a playstyle like mine a more run and gun playstyle this fusion rifle is perfect so if you are wondering on how this fusion rifle will hold up in the current meta it's good guys it is a good fusion rifle and i would rank it up there as a fusion rifle to the throne the rental when it becomes sunset when the rental gets sunset this fusion rifle a consistent fusion rifle a well rolled fusion rifle will take its spot now are there any other combinations on the exiles curse that i would suggest 
not really there isn't that many perks i would suggest as you can tell on screen there are not that many perks that really stand out that don't jive well together so is there another fusion rifle that falls in the same category and can i get the same perks yes the alethra fr4 alethra fr4 whatever it is right that fusion rifle has the ability to roll with the same set of perks firmly planted and snapshot which if you can't get an exiles curse maybe you can't get three wins if it's a three win reward five win reward whatever it may be if you get an alethra fr4 keep it settle with it but when it comes to overall stats the exiles curse is best in class the exiles curse compared to the fr4 is better it's going to have a higher aim assist and along with a better recoil direction i wasn't lucky enough to hit the lottery if it were up to me if i could change the masterwork of the exiles curse i have now i would go with more stability to help with the projectile spread but overall this is a great fusion rifle and i'm glad i kept it i didn't dismantle it so if you're playing trials on the weekend and maybe exiles curse is one of the weekly rewards if you get it to drop for you don't dismantle it right away look for the perks read the intrinsic perk guys because maybe it'll help out maybe there's a perk out there right especially with other weapons and again maybe you have this weapon in your vault with that thank you so much for watching if you enjoy content like this feel free to hit that subscribe button because again it's free and who doesn't like free if you found this to be the type of destiny content you like to see and you want to see more of it then do me a huge favor and hit that thumbs up because it lets me know to bring more content like this to the channel and also if you haven't followed me on Twitter or Twitch, head over there right now and drop a follow, especially on Twitch, because I've been streaming three to four days out of the week. So if you guys want to hang out, pick my brain or overall see me use fun loadouts in the Crucible, then that's the spot you want to head to. With that, you guys are awesome and I'll see you in the next video.